Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I would just like to do a very quick look at the new um, McFarlane DC figures for the new Suicide Squad film that's just been revealed. Um, sorry I haven't done a video in a while, just been busy with stuff, but um, but I just wanted to do a video because I am actually really excited about this new um, um, Suicide Squad movie. It looks really good, especially from the trailers. Um, I love the director who did Guardians Galaxy, and the um, second one I didn't like as much but um, for Guardians Galaxy, but first one was really good and the second one still had good parts but um anyway so this is um the first figures that have been revealed i don't know if this is all of them um i know this is one wave but i, I hope they do another wave with um other characters because there's lots of characters in the movie and i'd especially like a peter capaldi um figure but i uh, actually one thing i'll quickly say about peter capaldi in the trailers he's playing um that guy with the big this sort of he's sort of playing the guy with the brain thing on his head um all the spikes coming out um but he is actually missing i've i've checked on two of the big posters with all the characters except him literally all the characters except him he's on one of the posters or a few or two posters or something but um but i so he's either going to be a secret villain which i'm hoping for and he'll be a really big character or he'll be dead <laughs> so i think he's going to be one of the first to die honestly which is kind of sad but at least he got to be in a hollywood movie and hopefully this will um even though he has been in lots of good stuff before hopefully he'll, he'll be in more bigger stuff in the future because he's an absolutely amazing actor um besides being in doc 2 uh, anyway so here are the figures um and first here we got peacemaker i think his name is he's actually getting his own show and looks pretty good actually um the face sculpt i think the eyes look a bit odd on that look at the eyes on that they look a bit crossed and maybe just in a bit wrong position especially with the where the mask is but the actual sort of chin from the actor it looks really nice and um quite accurate the sword's nice and the rest of the body is all um, well proportioned and looks cool his muscles and stuff all look good and then I actually forgot the name of this character here um, Blood Blood Sport I, I, I want to say oh, that might be some, a name I just made up um, but anyway he looks really cool though. I mean hopefully this is a good character in the in the um, movie because this figure looks absolutely amazing I mean really it looks like um, looks like a um Ne like necka sword detail with all that sort of rusted stuff rusted and detail and all that and um really really nice i really really love that figure so i really hope it's a good character so i really want to buy him um and the harley quinn looks really nice um the body looks really good but um i have to admit there's something maybe a bit off 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 with that face but this is a bit of a like, best quality image the hair looks nice and so I just know something that's weird about the face, but I can't tell. what well, maybe it'll look really good in person. I mean, it doesn't look bad at all. In fact, it's probably one of their better human face sculpts, or if it's not a skin colour. Then anyway, here he's got Polka Dot Man. I hope those goggles come off. And he's, look, look at that accessory. Look at that accessory. That is absolutely awesome. Definitely a figure I'll get. Um, uh, well, I will say, if he's a good character in the movie, but from what I've seen from the trailers, he looks like a fun character. Um, anyway, but the face, the face sculpt from the actor... Who I do actually like. Um, yeah, it looks really nice and definitely one of the better human face sculpts. That's my biggest problem with McFarlane. They do amazing comic book figures, but their fate, their human like face sculpts, especially on some of those Harry Potter figure figures that I'm pretty sure they did. I think it was them. Oh god, they are they are bad. They are they are really bad. I saw um, I saw I've never I don't have any of them uh, Harry Potter ones, but I saw in B and M um one of the Harry Potter from the, I think from the last from one of the from Death Hallows and god that face sculpt put me off the body was okay but the face sculpt just put me off right away it just everything looked wrong about it any sort of shading they put on there any sort of the skin colour and the plastic it just did not go well if you want a good face sculpt go for Marvel Legends even though I don't have too many of them recently got their um, recently got their um, what was it called Hugh Jackman Wolverine from I believe it's X-Men 1 the one with the brown jacket and the actual body it was good you could see it you tell i mean it's all well molded all well molded, molded for the figure but i will say that um the face cop is absolutely amazing i mean it re uh, the second face cop with the shouting head looks a bit maybe a bit off it doesn't really look like hugh jackman but the first face cop looks great especially for that scale and some of the marvel legend stuff really blows me away and how they can do it in that scale where they use like um 3d 3d um I don't know, 3D printing or not that, that, not that, um, something where they sort of print the f face it, 
faces of the humans. I, I I don't actually know what I'm talking about. I just know they have a certain way of doing things that make it look really real and awesome. It doesn't always go out well, especially when they're doing teeth and stuff and details in the mouth, but otherwise just looks really great. And in the back, finally, we have um, we have um, King Shark, who is I think King Shark, yeah, yeah King Shark. Yes, I'm just <laughs> that sounded wrong to me for a sec, but I'm pretty yeah, it is I think. Um, but he looks really nice. Um, so I have to admit, something looks really off about his face. I don't know what, like the gap between his sort of his tongue or his bottom of his mouth. Something looks really, really weird about that face for me. I hope there's a second one that's not doing that. But um, don't know what that is about the face. Something looks odd about that. The rest of the figure looks absolute, absolutely amazing. Um, it looks like good proportions. The legs might be a bit short, but otherwise it's really good proportions. I'm sure it looked great in the movie and. Definitely looks like a fun character. Um, but yeah, that is really it for this new wave. They do have these little um, army soldiers on, on the ground. I assume they're just from something else. I'm not sure what that's from. But anyway, guys, um, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.